Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol UWT. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And especially with this one, it, it's got a, a very kind of clean cut area of support on the chart, which sits right down here at the $11 mark. And that, this is not like some sort of great discovery on my part, so I don't want to come across like this or like that. I assure you, anybody that uses charts and understands charts has taken notice of this level and, and is watching and wondering the same thing. And I bring all that up because when a lot of eyeballs are watching the same level and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some pretty interesting price dynamics, and that is exactly what's going on here with the $11 mark. I mean, you go through the history of things, and you can see $11 acted as support. $11 acted as support before you know the, the nasty moved downwards, but now the price has gotten back above it, and so far the price is holding up above that level. So in other words, there's a lot of price history right around that $11 mark, and while there is no such thing as a guarantee, it, it seems to be one of those areas where if the price does come down to that level, First off, I mean, it's, it's going to take a lot to push down through it. But if it does push down through it, then, you know, it would not be shocking at all to see the price make a pretty nasty move to the downwards direction. In fact, you know, again, no such thing as a guarantee. But if $11 cannot hold up, uh, then, like I said, would not be shocking at all to see the price at minimum go down there and retest that gap close location at $10.50. But right now, probably getting a little bit ahead of myself because the price hasn't even tested $11 after today on Friday. But point being, if 11 doesn't hold, then the next definitely key overall level of support that would probably more than likely go down to at least test, if not go lower, is at the $10.50 mark. Now, as far as levels of resistance heading into next week, the key overarching level to now keep an eye on is going to be that pink line there, which on my chart denotes the famous 200 period moving average. And even if you have a basic understanding of that, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that when the price is down below it, it does tend to act as resistance. So definitely keep a close eye on that if this movement can get some more uh, you know, upwards momentum. But all in all, definitely, like I said, some very clean cut levels. A whole lot of people are going to be watching $11. Uh, and we'll see if the price can hold above there. And if it can, then yeah, it's got a great chance of at least going up there and testing uh, the 1250 area, which is the current value of that 200 period moving average. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.